this is a real simple visualization that I've often used to help people learn how to experience powerful listening empathy that creates a sense of co-regulation, that creates this felt attunement that makes your listening powerful, whether it's with a client, whether it's with a partner, whether it's with a friend. So uh, this visualization is the way you practice it would be imagine the person in front of you that you're going to be listening to. If it's someone you've listened to before or someone like this person that you've listened to before, that's fine. Just somebody that you can imagine is speaking and you are listening. Uh, to set this up, make sure that you are feeling a felt presence in your own body, that if it takes some grounding, that you go ahead and do a little bit of grounding to get present in your own body. Uh, for the visualization, go ahead and imagine uh, that your body is going clear so that that person's talk and the sort of unheard hidden neural output that is emanating from them, their feelings, their emotions, uh, their anxieties, their hurt, uh, their joy, whatever sort of thing is, is vibing from them, that it's coming towards you and going through, it's touching you and going through your clear body. For some people, they can't imagine a clear body. It's useful to focus on just the fascial connections and, and, and their musculature, just to imagine their fascia going clear. And so like inside of their body. And so they're, you're basically breathing in and pulling the talk and the output through you. And then there's another part of the visualization that will activate your ability to re-regulate yourself. Just empathy is not enough because that turns into build up if, if you're not actually regulating and discharging stress energy while you're uh, empathically connecting with another person. So um, this other part is you imagine that there's something that's pulling that output that's coming into you. It's through you so it does not stay in you it just keeps moving through you it touches you and moves through you for some people a lot of times religious imagery is going to come up if they believe in jesus or the buddha or some kind of a higher power or metatron or something like that for other people it's not so religious they might imagine a, a, a magnet or an animal or something like that but the idea is you're activating a capacity that you have to feel deeply fully and richly with a person while on ongoing re-regulation is occurring within you. And so take a moment to just imagine that your body is going clear. This person is talking, you're breathing all the talk through you. You're breathing all of the silent wordless feelings through you. They touch you so that you're aware of them. And then they're pulled out of you by this other thing or being. This is something that you are capable of doing, you're designed to do, to be fully present with another person without being burned out, without being worn out, without having a bunch of buildup inside of you, to be present in the timeless now. Uh, this, this visualization has helped a lot of people. So going clear, breathing, pulling the talk through you, pulling the unspoken talk from the nervous system through you. And a lot of times, let's face it, just like a person might not be up to talking, a lot of times their nervous system has protective things going on inside of it that are keeping the neural output from coming out. And that's fine. What, what you wanna do if you're feeling a bunch of blockage, yeah, it probably is real. It probably is there. It's either in them or it's inside of you. Your job is to ever so simply add one more visual. You, you, you look for the shape of the blockage. It doesn't matter if your mind is right, whether it's real or not. What matters is that you're looking for it, so you're suspending judgment. You're activating proprioceptive processes. You're shutting off uh, any sort of thoughts about it by just simply looking for the structure of it, the shape of it. Because when you're present like that, when you're making so much room to hear them, when you're not resisting any sort of resistance, but being totally open to it, taking it exactly how it is, lo and behold, a lot of times the resistance melts. You're able to connect deeply with them as soon as their nervous system is ready to start talking again. You're going to have a satisfying and rich connection, and at the very least, uh, you're going to be able to not be exhausted or exasperated after having this kind of a connection with another person.